Here we go. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter. Kingdom Day! Oh, it's 5 27. We're ready for Magic Kingdom. Merry Christmas! Morning. Good morning! So it's our first full day and we're dressed up to the tea because it's Christmas Day. I know you guys are probably watching this in January when Christmas <laughs> is all over, but today's Christmas. We've got our lights on! We've got our light of Mickey. So yeah, it's currently 5 28 am. We are heading to Magic Kingdom that opens at 6, mm -hmm. so we know we're not going to get there for bang on opening. Yeah. We've got to renew our annual passes, which did it online. You have to exchange it at the ticket window. Mm -hmm. So we've got to go so, and do that as well. Yeah, we're not expecting to get in bang on six. No. Um, plan of action is just to get as many rides done as we can. Oh yes. And it's then we'll be heading, time. heading over to Epcot. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's so early. It's actually really mild. It's, really mild. it's I think it's 65 degrees. I thought it was going to be freezing. I didn't know if it was where my jump in. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit breezy. It's nice. Oh, now it's breezy. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Excited. So you can actually hear the Skyliner announcements as they're going over us. They're just going over here. Here goes one. You can hear their announcements. We have artist the season, Bath and Body Works anti that with a candy cane holder. Yes. So for us, the bus stop is a short walk down here um, from Jamaica. I think we'll just time how long it to the Jamaica. Oh, nearly went off. <laughs> we made it to the Jamaica bus stop. It took three minutes to get here. So quick. And we weren't even walking that fast. You may have just missed the bus because I think they're over 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, but 5.49 is pretty good going. So 16 minutes to go. Then we're going to Disney. Disney. Excited. So it's like half past five in the morning and there is nobody here. <laughs> Are we that early? But it's everyone's got smart enough and those masses are coming. This is this is the worrying thing. Has the has the masses already been before half five? <laughs> um anyway, we'll just wait and see when the bus comes. Okay, so one thing to note is keep an eye on the time on the board because we've actually just been given an improved arrival time, so the the times do change quite actively. Let's so see maybe it's true. Let's see if it's true, let's see if it'll come down the bus coming, but it's for the resort skyliner. I didn't know they did the um, resort Skyliner buses dedicated to that. <laughs> Our bus has arrived and a little bit early, which is good. Magic Kingdom! In just a few minutes, Security. We've got to sort our annual passes out quickly. Quickly, And then we're going to see the magical castle all lit up. Look at Mickey. Oh. Rich is well excited, aren't you, Rich? Well excited. Uh, so this is crowd levels at 6 a.m. Obviously, this is not too bad right now. But we're ready for it. I haven't seen the bag check line yet. Is this our first? I haven't done Christmas Day in Magic Kingdom with you ever, I don't think. Have we not? No, I have done it with my family. Where did we go Christmas Day last time? We did Epcot. Epcot, okay. And then a previous time I think we did Epcot as well. Yeah, this is our first time doing Magic Kingdom with Christmas Day. Here we go everyone. <laughs> I can see the I can see the lines.
are currently just in line at the guest services to redeem our annual pass this morning, but I've just done a few clips of what it's like or at about 6 a.m. on Christmas Day morning at Magic Kingdom. The bag check line wasn't too bad. In fact, Luke got through at the same time I did with no bag, but the line for guest services is quite long, so we'll let you know how long that is. Let's go in yeah, now. Hey. Here we go. Van and finger. And I always use the same finger. Okay, Thank really. you. Thank you. We're finally in. Look at this. It's so festive. We are in the Magic Kingdom, so we've got our annual passes sorted. Took about 20 minutes, not too bad. Oh, yes, look at that. So festive. Oh, let's head in. How magical is Magic Kingdom right now? So festive. But we are heading in. We've got our annual passes sorted, so we're heading in. Luke's on the Instagram stories. Morning. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not even going to stop filming now because it's the excitement levels are so high. Oh, the Christmas tree! Oh my god! Oh, uh, look at that! Look at this! So, what time is it now? Let's do a time check. So, we are on 6:26, and this is Main Street and the Christmas tree in Magic Kingdom. We're heading down Main Street. There is the castle all lit up. Oh, the Main Street for the first time this trip. Castle reveal. Castle reveal. There it is. Oh, would you look at that? That is stunning. <laughs> annual passes took about 20 minutes or so got our annual passes really nice cast member yeah then we just queued for our photo which we'll insert in a moment if we get it that was about Hopefully. 20 minutes <laughs> yeah about 20 minutes where's the fast pass for the photo <laughs> so we're now going to head down see the castle and then hit some rides It's crazy. It's so weird. It feels like it's nice. The thing I say right now is the temperature is really nice. It's like a nice little breeze, which is very weird because we're normally here in like September time and it's not this breeze, not this temperature. One observation to make. A lot of people at guest services hadn't done their fast passes. They hadn't done my Disney experience. They didn't have any of that. Well, they didn't know what my Disney experience was. No. So like, if you guys are coming, I know a lot of you will know, but my Disney experience, booking fast pass in advance, it, it's definitely worth doing. Download that app. <laughs> they were being told there's nothing available. Yeah. So. Oh, look at how sparkly the Christmas Oh, is. it's just so gorgeous. The castle is so sparkly. It's lovely this time of day coming in early. Yeah, because you get the night time. So if you can't stay until the very end in the night time and you're here early, you get the joy of being in the dark. Let's go through the castle and find some rides. Yes. Go and get on some rides. Oh, I just love it. I love it. Oh, it looks even more amazing up close. So nice, but we're going to go through the castle for the first time. Oh, this trip, the walking through the castle, walking <laughs> through it. the castle. <laughs> Very magical about walking through the castle and seeing the carousel for the first time. Yeah, it's so warm in like, I think it's just starting to start getting light. Now. Yeah, it's starting to get light now. So it's just coming up to 7 a.m. I'm gonna go on 
yeah. see what ride times are around and see what we can go with. Luke's monitoring the app today. So I think we're going to go to Big Thunder now because we've got fast passes for Seven Dwarfs, Space Mountain, and what was that the Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, that was it, yeah. So I think we're going to go and do uh, Big Thunder now because it's only got a 10 minute wait. Um, and then maybe like work our way back any short rides like Little Mermaid or something on the way back. Yeah, I feel like this is the time to do any fantasy like land rides. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Big, uh, Peter Pan's already got like 20 minute wait. So that's when you're gonna go up. We're just walking past Small World and it is pretty much a walk on by the looks of it. And we've got Peter Pan here. You know how big the lines are gonna be here. Yeah. 20 minutes for Peter Pan. And this is five, five or 10 minutes. Well, is it posting? 10 minutes, it's a small wear, but these are like really quiet wait times. Yeah, we're just coming down to the lantern and the tangled toilet. I've got to point out the uh, tangled toilets. This is like the best themed toilets in all of Disney. Absolutely love it. Yeah. We're just walking through Frontierland now. I'm just spotting all the different di di Christmas decorations along the walkway here. Going all along, but we are heading towards Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, always take this pathway. Yes. Nice. So Splash Mountain is posting a five minute wait, but I don't think anyone's quite brave enough to go on it this early. <laughs> there's some going around completely empty. Oh no, there's two brave persons there. Thunder, what are we posting? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, quick picture again. Here we go, Big Thunder. Ten minutes. Finding is getting here early. You're still it's still possible on Christmas Day to get some standby lines done. Yeah, so I think if you do fast pass, it's from kind of um, maybe you say nine o'clock onwards, maybe. Yeah, depending how long you're staying, really. But if so you're we're here in the morning, so our fast pass is starting quite early. If you're here early, like you can get some standby lines done, no problem. Yeah. We are heading on. Road 15, road 15. Here it comes. Here's our ride, the wildest ride in the wilderness. the trip I'm, road 15. I'm, I'm awake now <laughs> yeah um shout out to aaron cast member on the Conda mountain he yeah. was so friendly so friendly and we were just chatting to him and he's got an early like 4 a.m start finishing at half 12 and he let us wait for the back so just ask the cast members but yeah thanks aaron thanks aaron row 15. row 15 Big thumbs up. it's such a different experience very quick update on how long that actually took to get through btm was actually five minutes we posted 10 but it was like about four minutes so yeah. it was perfect and we actually waited a little bit extra because we wanted row 15 of that road so yeah, exactly so it would have been quicker we decided on haunted mansion for our second ride so this is where i wish we were in disneyland so we could do the overlay yes that would be awesome we have to do that one year but right now we're in Disney World, so we're going to enjoy the Disney World version of Haunted Mansion. And it's posting a 10 minute wait, and of course we'll update you as to how long that is. I'm back. <laughs> I'm freaking Luke out already. This one scares you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, to be honest. 
There's Madame Leo's room. <laughs> when ghosts are into the room um, it was brilliant and we tried to remember whether the photo is really early on in the ride and we were like holding our pose for like we kept ages. seeing flashes throughout the ride thinking is that it is that it we always last time i had my lip with um when we were here with heather i was putting my lip balm on in the picture <laughs> so i know it was early in the ride but exactly where it is it's not very clear so we'll, we'll see what comes out <laughs> so it's now half seven and we're going to head to under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah. Little Mermaid. We've met so many lovely Disney friends so far on this trip. Including cast members. Cast members who watch our vlogs. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so nice. So we just met a lovely couple who are on their honeymoon. Flew in yesterday. Got married Saturday, was it? And at the Grand Floridian. And they were staying at the Grand Floridian, yeah. Like, dream honeymoon. So, guys, if you're watching, have the most amazing thanks holiday. And thanks for saying hi. And we're now heading to Little Mermaid. Yes, under let's the sea. go. We might go to Gaston's after. Might. Although we've got, we've got like seven dwarfs. Yeah. 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 Okay, Time check, 7.32, um, crowd levels. Crowd levels are really quite, quite enjoyable actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's like, yeah. be our guest, stand by queue. Seems to be okay. It's probably fully booked, Adam. Probably fully booked, but normally in September, like, it's really crazy. Yeah, everyone's really festive. Yeah. All the cast members like, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Luke's getting lots of Merry Christmases in yeah. today. But we know what's coming. It's going to be crazy later. Oh, yes. But we're looking down here at Gaston's. And they've got some Christmas decorations up here. Yeah, we're going to go in Gaston's for a cinnamon bar. Yeah. Oh, got to get a sneak peek of Seven Dwarfs Mine Training when we're walking past. There they go. Whoa. Going on that later. So good. Love this ride. Under the sea with Little Mermaids. Five minutes standby. I have to say the theming in this queue line. I know that's every time I come in here, but I have to because I absolutely love it. I think they've done a brilliant job with this queue. Yeah. Disney knowledge from the Disney trivia we did on our Vlogmas. 
Well, you have. I have, you haven't. <laughs> the, the two eels on there. Rich was like, what are they called? I thought they were Fortnum and Mason. Fortnum and Mason. Which is obviously not. Flotsam and Jetson. That's it. Which is, I think, was the first question on our trivia for Vlogmas. Yeah, but they're going to be Fortnum and Mason to me. <laughs> Lots so, of Jetson to me. Let's go do seven dwarfs. Yeah. Time for fast. We're on the fast pass entry queue line. They've extended it. It's going to get busy today. Let's go. Yeah. A 60 minute standby line for seven dwarfs. We're going into the mine. Yeah. So ready for this ride. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I love this ride. It reminds me of my nan and my mum because they love this ride so much. And it rocks. It's coming. Here we go. While just riding with mine. Here we go. There. Hands up. We are swinging right now. <laughs> it's quite a bit of swing going on. Oh, you've got to swing it on the last. When you come out of the uh, mine, you've got to swing it side by side. Not too much though, because some of us don't like too much swinging. <laughs> it's a little bit rocky. Um, we've gone to a lovely cast member called Christopher. Yeah, hi Christopher. Hello. Hello. Thanks for saying hi. So friendly, and he yeah. is off to Tokyo in May. So excited! We said you've got to let us know what your Instagram or something is so we can yeah. follow along. We to want miss to follow Japan. You. Yeah, thank you so much. We're heading into Gaston's Tavern for cinnamon, cinnamon bread. Gaston's online. So the warm cinnamon rolls $5.99. They do a chocolate croissant and they do Le Fou, Le Fou, I can't say it, Le Fou, Brew, which is very nice. Quite sweet, but very nice. And they've got coffee as well. Nice. So while Luke's gone to get our cinnamon bread, I've gone into Gaston's tavern to try and find a seat. We've got this tactic where one of us will go and get the food and one of us will go and get a seat and it works quite well because it worked today. So we're gonna get, let you know what the cinnamon bread is like shortly. So we're in Gaston's, okay, we've got a nice view sitting here, and we've got a warm cinnamon roll. It's all nice. Smells so good. Yeah, here we are going to share. It looks so good. Should be stuffed after that. Yeah, one cinnamon bun is definitely enough for me. <laughs> we've got garden grill for lunch today, so we know we're going to have to save our food for that. Our appetite for garden grill, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna head over to Winnie the Pooh now for our uh, next fast one. Yeah, yeah. Just caught a glimpse of Luke singing the Winnie Pooh song. <laughs> <laughs> singing the song already, so we're gonna head into the ride. 25 minutes. The many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I love this ride. Next up is Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. That's my favorite. All right, have fun, guys. Park honey. Look at that, so cool. We're on row number one. Here comes our honey pot. Here we go. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. 
wind treated places. Oh dear, and I'm on tightly Craving honey right now. Sunglasses on. on. <laughs> yeah, the sun's coming out now. It's warming up nicely. I think it's going to be like 26 degrees today, which is like 78, 79, which is really nice. So yeah, week Not two was good, wasn't it? We need that. It's you getting come busy now. Ride singing that song. Seven Dwarfs is getting uh, 135 minutes, so the park is really picking up now. Yes, we're going to Space Mountain with the overlay. We have a bit of a backup on Tomorrowland Speedway. <laughs> Bit of a traffic jam waiting to get in. Oh dear. We're land right now at Space Mountain. You can test out the Tron light cycle run cars, which is awesome. So you get like a photo opportunity here, right next to Space Mountain. We're just gonna try and reminisce from Shanghai. Yeah, zero memories. Yeah, pull it in. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like quite cold like. There you go. You excited, Rich? <laughs> He's still got his hat on. That is not coming off. Attention Space Look. Mountain passengers. Ooh. Space Mountain is a thrilling high-speed turbulent roller coaster type Here ride in the dark. This is actually Fast Pass number three, isn't it, Rich? Fast Pass three. Have you even been to Magic Kingdom if you haven't done People Mover? <laughs> it's got to be done. Love and it. there's no line which makes it even better. Yeah, you're literally going to walk up the escalator and get straight on. And get straight on. But the queues aren't too bad right now in Magic some Kingdom. Things are. Some things are, but some things aren't. Got to be bouncing on the moving walkway. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Are you chilling on the People Mover? Very yeah. This is lovely. <laughs> lovely. Uh, getting some great views and the sun is out and it's such a cool temperature. I don't know about anybody else, but I've got to be facing forward on the people mover. Yeah, we're sitting together. We're sitting together. I've got to be facing forward. We're, we're the first car. Oh, look, they've just disconnected. Yeah, they've just disconnected us. We are at the front. <laughs> overlay on Tomorrowland Speedway you can start to see some of the Christmas decorations and more construction for Tron. Look at that. Great to see it. Christmas overlay. Christmas overlay. Oh I love it. That's Luke. Luke all over. Oh, there's the castle. We're a bit, the view was obscured on the other way, on the other side. This time it's laughter they're after and monsters incorporated. So drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Keep it moving. We're on a tight schedule here. <laughs> That's your favourite bit. Oh, you love that bit. 
Mike Wazowski. As we approach the Tuarwood Transit Authority Station, our nice ride there. And we're now going to head across the hub, which is going to be crazy. <laughs> we're already seeing the cars that we're being faced with right now. Yeah, to go and get um, a spot for the parade. Yep. This is what we're up against. Which is not. It's not too busy now, is it really? Not too busy. We're going to get a picture of our favourite uh, spot. This is our favourite spot over here. Up the castle. So right down here, overlooking the castle, is like our favourite spot. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Stunning. This is the spot. Friends and I have some of history's greatest tales to tell. Your hair will stand on it with all the history and such. Unless, of course, you're a bald like me, in which case, not so much. Oh, hi there, Sam. Time for a little bit of uh, window shopping. shopping. No, sorry. We never really shopping. No, so we're going to make use of this time that we've got spared to have a look in the shops. So Luke spotted the Disney D pin, which I don't think. Have you ever seen this before, Luke? No, I like it. I do like it. And it's got like one. It's nine ninety nine. It's got one of the turrets, isn't it, of the castle? Yeah. Yeah. It's on pin watch. He's seen another one he likes. Definitely like that yellow one. That yellow. This one here. It's really nice. Yeah. I think we might be buying this one. We managed to get the Christmas Day pin with Mickey and Pluto. So cute. Uh, Frontier Trading Post. Frontier Trading Post where we found it. And there wasn't many left, so so pleased we got this. Okay, so we've decided not to wait for the parade today because it's getting really busy. And we did say to ourselves, the Christmas Day Magic Kingdom, we aren't great with crowds. I'm certainly not great with crowds. And we set our expectations to that, didn't we? We were like, it's going to be busy, so let's, let's make a promise to each other that we'll call it time when necessary. So we're going to head to Epcot now and see if we can get an earlier lunch at Garden Grill. Yes. And then we need, we need to catch up on some sleep. We've got about four hours sleep. <laughs> so we're so like lagging a little bit. Yeah, but it's been so magical this morning and we don't want it to turn no. unmagical. Because we're at the point where it's all been fantastic and we've had a great morning. Know your limits. And it's getting to that point where it's so busy. Yeah. And it's a vacation at the end of the day and it needs to be positive. And, and I want to go in the Caribbean Beach the pool. <laughs> and the pool, yes. So we've got a few things on our mind that we want to do today. Yeah, we want to go have a good look around the resort after that yes. yes. explore. Yes. This is 10 a.m. crowd, crowd levels at 10 a.m. It's cray cray. It's what we like to call cray cray. We're just trying to get down now to the exit. It's just cray cray. We're going against the tide. And we've got the toy soldiers coming out. Look at these toy soldiers. Oh, they're so cool. cool. I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we're saying bye to Magic Kingdom for now, and we're desperately trying to find an exit to try and get out. We found an exit, but the queues, the queues to get in are crazy right now. Hi guys. Bye, Merry Thank Christmas. You. So this is 10 a.m. crowd levels. Right here. It's monorail of the trip. Yay! We're gonna get the monorail to the ticket transportation. Sorry, transportation and ticket, ticket centre. Center. <laughs> and then we're gonna head to Epcot. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna try. That's what we're saying. No promises. Look at this. Look at this. This is, the, this is us leaving. Yes. That's the arrivals. Arrivals. So we're definitely back leaving. <laughs> arrivals. <laughs> we're in the right queue. Tradition of ours is guess the colour of the monorail. Okay, What's your guess? I'm gonna go with. Blue. Did you just see? <laughs> I've got my <laughs> I've got my back to the monorails right now. So if it's blue, I'm going to suspect that you cheated. We'll there see. Is. This is the moment of truth. What colour is it going to be? It is actually blue. I didn't see it either. Tell the truth. You did see it, didn't you? Here it comes. Monorail blue. We're heading in. If you are standing, 
Please hold on to the handrail and stay clear of the doors. We welcome you aboard our Highway in the Sky and hope you've enjoyed the Magic Kingdom. We are traveling to Disney's Contemporary Resort. During our travels, please hold on to the handrails and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Thank you. Doesn't look too bad now. to get on the Epcot monorail. Will we make it? Will we make it? Will we do it? I think we will. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're back in the same seats. <laughs> We're going to Epcot. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. This didn't happen in September, so we had to clear security twice in September, didn't we? Yeah, After going to Magic Kingdom. Now where the bag is. This is brilliant. Yes. You've already been bag cleared at Magic Kingdom. Or ticket transportation. You don't have to do it again. Perfect. We were slightly worried we're gonna have to sit in that stand in that queue. Yeah, that's brilliant. So the lines for Epcot is pretty much just all out by the bag check line. There's no actual queue to scan your Magic Band to get in, which is cool. We're gonna use the pass holder line. Why not? Pass holder line. <laughs> Why it not? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Spaceship Earth, we've missed you. I just feel so at home, but it's so quiet. I know. This, part. this bit is so quiet. Like, where is everyone? <laughs> where are they? <laughs> but even like, in PBC, we've seen like Christmas daylight. Magic Kingdom streets capacity, the car, car park queues, it just seems to be more organised. Yeah, a lot well organised. It really leads us on to say that we just want to say the car centres are doing an amazing job, aren't they? They're it's all not so an, friendly. So friendly. It's not an easy time to work yeah. anywhere. <laughs> a lot of the guests, it's their first visit and, um, you know, a lot of people these days do their research. Some people just turn up here and they have no research at all. The yeah. cast members are just so good at like... So patient. Yeah. So we also managed to get a fast pass tonight at Epcot Forever. So we hadn't booked that. I was like, what? Are you serious? Yeah. I literally kept flicking the app and it's come up. So we've got it. We, we don't, I'm not sure 100% we'll make it, but if we can. If we can, we're going to do it. Yeah. We're so making use of the nice weather today. It's hot. It's hot. The blue so sky nice. is out. Couldn't have asked for better weather for Christmas Day. No. Um, perfect weather for shopping as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whatever weather, it's perfect Just hit shopping. my 10,000 steps. And what is it, what time is it? Like 10.44. 10.44 <laughs> and he's hit his 10,000. That's good going, good going. Heading into the land. The land. The home of the Mickey Red Rabbit with me pie. <laughs> and Soren. We're back at Chippendale's Harvest Feast at the Garden Grill restaurant in Epcot. Grill is currently 10 to 11, and the really lovely cast member there said they're actually trying to steep lunch from 11, so no problem at all. We found that before, if you're not 100% on your lunch plans and you don't think they might change, book something for lunch, and then when you go and speak to the cast member, just say, because you've already got a spot they can only refill you. Yeah, just there, like, change things around for you. Yes, yeah, so they've moved us to 11, we've got our buzzer. <laughs> And then we're going to wait to see the character Chippendale. So you guys know we love um, Garden Grill. I thought it was good for Christmas Day because they do turkey. Yeah. And 
1966 in character. Oh, yeah. It's one of our old favourites, electric yeah, umbrella. Favorite, yeah, this is one of our go-to places. We love the meals. Nuggets here. are amazing. So good. Here we go. Chicken nuggets, yes. <laughs> time some lovely chicken nuggets and loads of sauce and we got a cookie crunch dessert getting off that oh we love chicken nuggets oh, so i was just saying do you prefer disney chicken nuggets or roast dinner that's a tough question because they're both good in their own right <laughs> they are <laughs> so there's the annual pass holder lady just out here so we're going to go and get our pass holder magnets we have our chippendale magnets Freebie. Yeah, magnets or are they fridge magnets? Yeah, fridge magnets. Yeah, they're cool. Aren't they? uh, cool. We ended up not dining at Garden Grill in the end today. That was a shame. No, we, we sort of waited about half an hour for our table, which was fine. Then we were sat down on a, a, as part of another table, like we were almost at the same table. We were practically sitting on them. <laughs> yeah, and even the characters thought we were on the same table because they were coming round and treating like, us, us one. on one table. Yeah. So we didn't have any food or anything. And we just sort of spoke to the servers and said, can we move? And they said, no, there's nowhere else to go. Even though the whole restaurant was empty, it was basically servers. Um, so we decided not to dine. Yeah. Because it just felt really awkward. We were sat like right with other, and it's not like, I didn't want to be on a table with other people we don't know at Christmas. And they were having their family Christmas. Yeah. And like they were spilling into rich, into your, into your seat, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. But it was no, it was not their fault. I mean, they were already there having their meal, but it was just an unfortunate situation that we'd been sat so close. When the characters came, it was impossible to get out without asking them to move. To move every time. And it, it wasn't, you know, it's a lot of money and it wasn't enjoyable on this occasion, but we've had so many good meals there. So, you know, we wouldn't write it off. We, we just, wouldn't write it off. Today, no. we did, then we just had a quick service and said, so we were happy with that. Yeah. But, um, Chicken yeah, nuggets. <laughs> it was a bit of a shame. Yeah. saying like the crowds right now are half past 12 it's half past 12 right now and they're not too bad like food and wine is busier than this i'd say yeah maybe everyone's coming in late but this is lovely this, this is, is lovely really yeah it's now 79 degrees 79 degrees it's hot and up we've got goofy meeting at international gateway just telling people which way to go yeah as he does now one of the main reasons we booked caribbean beach resort the skyline. Sky <laughs> We're gonna hopefully get really conveniently back to our room. So We're let's try so this out. So close to the skyline, aren't we? Yeah. Oh look, the Prince, Princess and the Princess Frog. Princess Tiana one stopped. And they've all stopped. Don't stop now. No, we literally just get back to get on it. Get back. <laughs> We're all the way back. I'm not walking back. There's a saying. Stop. We love the skyliner, but please work. Luke's just seen the Princess and the Frog gondola. That's the one he desperately wants. Hopefully, you get it one day. Here we go. Today's operating hours. Ah. Uh, so Hollywood Studios didn't start this morning until 7.30 and we were actually talking to a lady at the bus stop this morning who said the same thing. Yeah. So yeah. It's not great if you want to get on rise of the resistance. No, that's too late. So yeah, we're heading back to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Last night we saw that we were super close to the uh, station so hopefully we can tell you exactly how long it's going to take us to walk from the Skyliner station to our room. I feel like we should start a new tradition. What colour gondola? It's a lot of yellow one. Are you going to go for yellow then, yeah? I'm going to go for green. Green, I'm going to go for blue. We'll let you know. No line for the Skyliner. Look at that one, it's got Paul on it. Ah, oh, it's a Star Wars one, Porgs. I want a blue one. I want a Porg. Oh, Thank you. Movie. You too. We got the Star Wars one. Yay. Yay. Happy. It's all nice and new. Yeah. Super happy now. We're in the Star Wars gondola with Porgs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I like for you to laugh. Bye. Oh, they're brilliant. Oh, they're brilliant on the Skyline, yeah. <laughs> They've been singing. Here we go. We're going to take off. Here we go everyone, Disney Skyliner, we're in a Star Wars one. We're Paul. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, there's porks on our one. You can't see them now, but there's porks on there. Yeah. Let's wait for the jingle. Welcome aboard the Disney oh. Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort. Yes, we are. The final 
Look at the construction down there, Ratatouille. Oh, Ratatouille down there. We hope you enjoyed your visit wow. to Epcot. Wow, that's World progressing Showcase. a lot. Did you learn it's how to really say hello different. in a different language today? No. Uh, Ratatouille coming next year, I think. Yeah. Oh, look, it tells you I'm there. Uh, coming 2020, <laughs> summer. There we go. Officially from Disney there. 2020 summer. So we've had a really good morning. We've been... A bit tired now from four hours sleep. Yeah, um, it's catching up with us. <laughs> but it's so worth doing. If you're thinking about doing Christmas, Christmas Day, get in there as soon as you can and get as much done. We achieved like six or seven rides. Because we said earlier that the stand, some, some of the standby lines were easy going. They were like five, ten minutes up until late in the morning. But it really picked up. And then it really picked up. So get here early and then maybe schedule some fast passes for later in the day if you plan on staying longer. Yes, we are really now good. approaching the Skyline Turn Station. This, this is the turn station. While this special station. station was designed just for turning, other Skyliner stations were designed to complement their unique environment. I'm just going to let the ladies talk. From the talk. glamour of Disney's Hollywood Studios to the laid-back islands of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh, That's where we're, so we're going. Coming in fast. This is the bit where it's always a little bit... Juddery. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's the turn station. Nemo. There's Bunny Nemo there. It's great for kids and the whole family supporting them. Yeah. The different characters and the themed ones. I love that. But you can really see all of them coming down. So we're heading back to our resort now. We're going to, I think, dump our stuff in the room, go for a little wander. We want to find the freestyle machine that is close to our block because there's one in each area. So where we can get our resort mug refilled. We might try and find the laundry area because we need some laundry over here. Yeah, and then go have a look at the pool. But yeah, so it's, the resort mug was $19.99 for two weeks if you're, if you're not the dining plan. So that's it's worth it. Yeah, for our, it's definitely worth it for us, yeah. Rather than paying for the drinks we every time. We hope you are enjoying your journey. It's so oh, easy in here. It's so nice. Longer. So lovely. We are now um, travelling along Buena Vista Drive. You see how we're swaying quite a lot in the wind at the minute. I'm not sure if it's coming out on camera. You no, can see the shadow. You can see the shadow. We are really swaying right about. You kind of see it there. I don't want to put anyone off coming on here, but it is a little bit swaying. It is good. I like it. But when the gust of wind blows, it really is quite... You like it. It's not actually meant to be a ride. It's a mode of transport. Well, my granddad loved it. He, he was one of his favourite rides, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. So we're coming up to Disney's Riviera Resort now, and then we're going to... Oh, we're stopping. Oh, we've stopped. Hopefully, momentarily. Yeah, hopefully, momentarily. And oh. we're bouncing now. Oh, oh my God. And watch your step. Here we go. Thank you for flying with us. Uh, 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 uh,
and there's Jamaica over there. So we're gonna let you know how long it takes to get from the Skyliner to Jamaica. So we've just got back to our room and it took about five minutes to get back and in case you're worried about the any noise of the Skyliner going over the top of the building, you, it's it's like really quiet, isn't it? Like silent. silent, you can't hear it, there's no noise. But super convenient for like getting around on that transport. And this is so good. Yeah, the Joffrey's strawberry slush is going down so Today we can really see how nice it is out the front of our room. It feels like we're in the Caribbean. It does actually feel like we're in the Caribbean. Here we are, we've got a nice big balcony here. Everyone has a communal balcony. But it's just lovely. I only just noticed there's actually a gift in the room. <laughs> I didn't even realise. Yeah, it just appeared, so let's find out where that is from. There we so go. we've got a lovely message that says Merry Christmas, have a magical trip, enjoy your time together, Felicia, Felicia Mitch, Jenny, Will and Alana. Thank you Thank guys. Thank you so much guys, so this is so of kind you. of you. What's inside? We've got the ribbons off. Yeah, the ribbons are really nice. <gasps> oh, Lays. Okay, so we've got some Lays. Like those. We have... A, oh, like a Disney glass. A Disney glass. Wow. It's lovely. I like that. We've got some nacho cheese. The nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Oh, Cheetos crunchy. I love them. Luke will be happy. <laughs> wow. We have some white cheddar smart food. Ooh. Not dry Popcorn. Those <gasps> pretzels. Pretzels. Can't go wrong with that. Dale on the front. Dale pretzels. <gasps> Goofy candy. Candy. Oh. So we have some character gummies and a Rice crispy treat. There's so much in here. Another crispy treat. Yep. Thank you. We have. Some oh, we had these last time. Packers. They're so good. And some healthy food. Yeah. Oh, thank and the you. bag is lovely as well. Bag thank you, lovely. guys. That's really surprised us yeah. and made our day. So thank you so oh, much. Thank that you was so, so unexpected. Much. Thank We're you. We're going to go for a little wonder. With our Joffreys. With our Joffreys. Just to explore the resort. Yeah, why not? You can see it. We're actually just still on our patio, just right outside. And you can actually see how close we are to Old Port Royal. So let's head over. Let's sign of the beach. This is a lovely beach area. This is literally on our doorstep. This is like 30 seconds away from our door. Hammocks. Hammocks and sunbeds on the on the beach. And then also we've got the closest pool to us as well. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a little nose at the pool. This is our pool area. This is the closest pool. Yeah, it's nice. And then we can yeah. go through to the main pool, cross over to the main pool now. Yeah, and over here is the beach area. How steam does this sound look? <laughs> It looks too perfect. You're eyeing up that hammock, aren't you? I am eyeing up that hammock. I don't know about anybody else, if there's ever a hammock, I've got to get in it. Here we go. It's got to be done. It's so nice. I need to put my stuff down somewhere. You can take it with you. I can see that going horribly wrong. Though. Just enjoy it. <laughs> here it goes. Oh, your your mum and nan should be here. Right, I'm going to leave you there now. Oh, oh. nearly in. <laughs> Six hours later. <laughs> Rich is fine. <laughs> I had to hold the drink, I had to help with the leg. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you there. Bye. Happy Christmas. Happy Rich in the hammock. And I am just chilling with these sunbeds here. Excuse me. <laughs> I was just trying to get out of that hammock and you walked off going, good luck. <laughs> You wanted to get I in here. I want to be on the camera. <laughs> no, no, come and chill now. These are really comfortable, these chairs. Dad. Oh, yeah! Say hello. Hello. You're on the vlog. Hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, Merry Christmas. Oh, see you later. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 We've just been FaceTiming as you've seen with home. We had a nice long chat and then I just yeah. got them to all say hello. They're playing cards at the moment, They're aren't they? They're playing cards. They yeah. miss us and we just said, oh, we miss them in Florida. And um, we've been obviously going on the rides today. And It's not the same, is it? No. If you, obviously, if you haven't seen our last trip from September, check that out. Because we went with my grandparents and my mum. Yeah, it was such a barrel of so laughs. fun. So, um, they, we, we're talking about them coming again. They're like, do you want to come again? They're like, yeah. yeah. So the last trip times four. So they, they've been saying it was the last trip three times, but hopefully maybe they're going to come again. They've caught the bug. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're just chilling now and it's so gorgeous. So nice. So we're heading over to Caribbean Key. Not Castaway Key. Oh, that's what I first thought of, <laughs> Castaway Key. So this is the little island that connects Jamaica 
and the other areas with Old Port Royale. We're acting like we know, we just literally just looked at a map. <laughs> it's windy, but that's uh, Riviera there. And you do, we do. I seriously feel like I've gone to ca the Caribbean. The Caribbean it has yeah. that feel to it. Disney, well done on the theme because we actually feel like we're in the Caribbean. Yeah, this resort so far is winning. So I understand in this area they have the nighttime movies. They've got, they've got a playground. Luke's been doing his research. I looked at the map. Caribbean Key, Caribbean Key Playground. A little island. Let's head through. This area that's available from sunrise to sunset where you can just come out and there's like little benches on, little huts. So you can just come out and just sit and take in the view. It's very nice. Pretty sure this is where they do their nighttime movies. Nighttime movies. Yeah, on the lawn here. The main pool. Within a few minutes. The main pool. And we've got you've got a friend of me playing in the background. There's the main pool area there. Old Port Royal. There we go, there's the pool. Bit busy at this pool. So the nice thing about this is there's lots of quiet pools you can go to as well. Yeah, and I can see a slide. How inviting do these chairs look? There's a row of chairs here just by the food court and it overlooks the Skyliner. Oh look, Sebastian's here. Yeah, and Bistro. Sebastian's Bistro. Which we haven't booked this time. No. It's got the uh, poolside bar, Banana Cabana. Banana Cabana, I feel like I'm saying that really posh. Banana Cabana. <laughs> Banana Cabana. <laughs> Banana Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a drink station here, right by the pool. We'll have a drink station by the pool. I'm loving these lanterns. <laughs> the theming is great here. Let's find our bearings. I think where, uh, Chris yeah, this is the um, sand, where Santa was last night. He was just around here because I noticed when we looked through here, you could see the fountain. And we're back in the lobby. And we're back in the lobby oh, here. It it's the Magical Express, actually, just out the other side. It smells like a candle. Oh, it smells like a tropical scent. A tropical scent, but like a Bath and Body Works candle. <laughs> and also, right by the check in area, they have these like desk areas. So if you're just waiting to check in, you need to do some charging. Or maybe you need to do some work while you're here. There's some charging ports on the tables. Plus there's some nice seating area with some cushions. And then the food court is just literally behind that. Also for the kids, they've got the seating area here right by the check-in area so they can watch some cartoons. Currently Mary Poppins is playing. And look at these Christmas trees either side. Looks so cute. Uh, Disney Cruise Line. the dream. Oh, we it's love the, the Disney, Disney dream. dream. So where's our actual room? Yeah, where is our room? 8188, it's just at the back there. <laughs> we say our room, but yeah, it's the one we prefer. 8188, which is just at the back, around about there. They have candy canes, and then there's peppermint and snickerdoodle cookies. Wow, can I have a lemonade, please? Yes, yeah, Thank you. So Luke's gonna go for a lemonade. Yes, please. Do you want one? Oh, go on then, yes, please. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, Merry You're Christmas. Welcome. Thank you. So we have our lemonade that we got from the lobby area. And I got a snicker, snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Cinnamon. And I got a peppermint cookie, which is the lady's favorite. Yeah. I'm just following Luke into Calypso Trading Post, which is the on-site shop at Caribbean Beach. He's got some money to spend, so I need to catch up and uh, supervise. How cute is that cup? Yeah, it's quite big though. <laughs> I don't think it would fit in our cupboard at home. We've got the snowman cap there and the Mickey bag. And this uh, kid's t shirt's quite cute. Mini and bright. So we've got some festive bags with uh, Mickey and snacks, gingerbread man, candy sticks. Snow, can cotton candy. Oh, wow. Can I buy that? Yes, you can. So we don't do Christmas presents. So Luke's going to buy me the cotton candy, vanilla snow with Chippendale on. Loving this Caribbean beach resort mug. Blue inside, I think I can live with blue. We don't normally go for dark mugs inside, but it does look very nice. And this one is 13 99 But that would go nicely in the summer. There is a lot of Skyliner merch. So we've got these Skyliner toys up here. We've got t-shirts. We've got this like poster. More clothing. And then we've got these tumblers as well. And 
we have to get the Caribbean oh, Beach Resort pin. Nice. Yes, we do. Every resort we go to, we have to get the pin that belongs to there. Yeah. Do we get a Grand Floridian one? Now I'm worried. No, I'm worried. <laughs> oh, Rich. <laughs> Let's get it. Alien it's gonna happen. Gonna happen, yeah. It's a load of drinks and milk in here as well, so you can get all that sort of stuff here. Just also handy. got this like colouring area inside the shop. So they've got like Welcome to the North Pole, Santa Sleigh, and there's some drawings here. It's really cute. And just spotted Pluto on the way out of the store. How sweet is this? To Santa North Pole. Oh, that's really sweet. Love that. Let's see how much this is. This is $21.99. We've got some of the 2020 merch. We've got some mugs. This is really cool. It's got 2020 there. And you've got all the kind of Fab Five. Fab Five, There's yeah. Three of them anyway. We've got some. This. Yeah. Some more glasses. This is 19.99. The got, mug is doesn't not priced. We've got frame. We've got the autograph book, Both photo them. album, and also some clothing down there for the kids. They're really cute. Love that. Bridge from Caribbean Key and Old Port Royal. And our, our block is literally here. 45? Yeah. Just on our way back to the room now and we're just spotting people's um, window displays that they've got. So we've got like Mickey and Minnie and Olaf there. And there was another couple around by our area that they've decorated so well. They're so sweet. Have to fill up the resort marks. So we're going to go and find the nearest freestyle machine. Which I think is over in 42. 46. 46, yes. So we're going to go and venture out to 46. We found the freestyle machine. Not far, so it's like a two minute walk. Let's get this. Quick in the options. What's Luke going to go oh, for? I've got them all. Minute made. Yeah. Place your cup in. Do you have any ice? Minute made. Yeah, and then you've got to press the button. I've got all the flavours. Oh, what flavour are you going to go just for? Lemonade. Just lemonade. I knew you would just go for lemonade. I have a bit of ice. Okay, so we are going to go for, I'm very predictable when it comes to Cape Free stuff. I've always got to go for caffeine free Diet Coke vanilla. <laughs> to be precise. Very specific. Here we go. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to get dark so I can put it back on. So we're just heading back out, it's 5.20. So we haven't napped, but we have chilled. We have rested, chilled out, and yeah, just relaxed, just relaxed. So we're gonna take a walk now to the Skyliner. We're actually gonna go to Hollywood Studios, which is the third park in one day on Christmas Day. Okay. We're heading out now. I'm not entirely sure if we've ever done three parks in one day, and yeah. all to do it is today. Christmas Day, so we're taking the short five minute walk to the Skyliner, because it's so convenient. Fast passes, there are loads. You could get Toy Story Mania now, Alien, Swelling Saucers, Tower of Terror. Because you went on a little while ago and you were like, I can get a Toy Story Mania fast pass. It's like, what? Yeah, and looking at the queue lines, like Tower of Terror's 30 minutes, um, Toy Story Mania was 30 minutes. It's Christmas Day. So, I don't know what's happened. But what you, you were saying you were reading that there seems to be better fast pass availability this time of year. Yeah, but even Smuggler's Run only had a 60 minute wait. So maybe everyone's retreated for a little while. <laughs> yeah, it's very windy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we were going to say, we don't do Christmas presents, so um, one of our Christmas presents is holidays, so we kind of give this as our holiday together. So big money saving tip, skip Christmas. <laughs> skip. <laughs> I know it's a lot easier said than done, but yeah. um, Christmas presents cost a lot of money and we just tend to treat ourselves through the year. So yeah, this is where our hard-earned money goes. Yeah, let's go get the Skyliner. Yeah, and there's lots of yellow gondolas going going over us. It seems to be the colour. Look at this beautiful evening. And there is an internal shuttle around the resort that drops you off at the... Skyliner. Skyliner station. So if you are staying in one of the areas that are further away, you can get the internal shuttle. It is quite busy, I looks of it. Yeah, we might have to share. We want our own one. <laughs> no, no, we don't mind <laughs> you can hear them really going. So we've got the hours of operation today, 7.30 a.m. opening for all lines. So it is slightly more busier than before. So we need to find our Hollywood Studios route. Let's go. Here we go, Hollywood Studios. We're going to head into line now. The Riviera and Epcot line is very busy right now, but we're heading on to the Hollywood Studios line.
gentlemen and islanders of all ages. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Hollywood Studios. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. Yeah. You feel so chilled coming off it. So chilled, yeah. It's and the even, best. even if you're sharing a gondola with another, with another family, there's still plenty of room. Yeah, so they don't cram them in, no. um, and it just makes the queue go really quick. So that yep. that went so fast, we were on within minutes. It's cool. Yep. So let's head into Hollywood Studio. This new security area just looks so much better. It's so swish, I would say. Swish? <laughs> swish. <laughs> swish. 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 <laughs> look now with the Christmas layover. So nice. So Head festive. In. Let's go. So I'm in Hollywood Studios at the trip. So we're going to head towards the pass holder line on the left. What's to that? the left, Everyone to the left. <laughs> Your name? Elizabeth. How are you? One more time. Oh, I'm sorry. It cut out on you, sir. Oh. Hold it for a second. Okay, now go. We're in Hollywood Studios. Yeah, look how festive this is. I pointed out to Luke earlier that I love the sky at the moment. It's very eerie. It adds like so much good colour to the yeah. pictures and stuff. As long as it doesn't rain. Oh, look how festive this is. Love it. We invite you all to celebrate the joy and adventure of the season here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Please. We're just checking out the uh, Christmas decorations as we walk to Toy Story Playland. Really cute. We've got some more over there. They're like little, what would you say? I like the new design up there. Elves? <laughs> you say elves. And candy new, children. Ca candy children? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. And Luke just pointed out the new Disney's Hollywood Studios sign. I like there. it. I like it. It's simple, but it's like the Tomorrowland sign. Like simple, but nice. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> Luke approves. Now, we got a fast pass earlier for Toy Story Mania. And we're going to go and see how long the wait is for alien swirling sources. I feel like I can see aliens. Yeah, rich and see the aliens. <laughs> So let's see what Toy Story Land was again. Really not too bad. No, but we're not quite in the land yet. No. <laughs> but, but yeah, so far so good. It's not too bad. And Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is open. They're on groups 111 to 115. So the new restaurant coming to the Toy Story Land soon. Woody's Cookout. Woody, I think it's called Woody's Cookout. Don't quote us on that. But we're looking forward to seeing the Christmas overlay. I can hear the jingle. As you can hear the jingle as uh, Slinky Dog goes past. Oh, look at the Christmas decorations on one day. I love it, and the scarf as well. I love the addition of the scarf. Sheriff Woody here. You know hey, how Sheriff I Woody. can tell it's the holidays because there are loads of new toys around. Welcome. Come on in. Oh, we will. Thank you, Woody. Thanks. So on Slinky Dog you can see the Christmas lights up there and there's a little jingle when Slinky Dog goes round. Yeah, I love it. This is a nice cool land at night. Yes. Here's Jesse. Here's Jesse. Hey Jesse. We're on Alien Watch right now. <laughs> this is one of our favourite character spots right here in front of Alien Swell and Saucers. They've got the Christmas baubles right here. This in itself needs to be a character meet. I need to start a petition for the Alien character meet right here. And the Alien Christmas baubles. Love it. And we've also got the Christmas overlay on Alien Swirling Saucers. We're heading on. We're going to enjoy the Christmas overlay on Alien Swirling. I'm loving the guards, the Pizza Planet guards at the front as well. Standby 35, not too bad. Oh, it's gone down to 30. Standby just went down to 30, Luke. Five minutes extra. It's 5.58. 5.58, we're going to time it and see if it's accurate. I don't think done the standby on this. No. We've got the uh, Toy Story Blaster there. Pointing out all the little details, but these trash cans are so cute, like Buzz Lightyear style trash cans. 
and it looks like there's quite a few interactive pieces like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in the queue for the kids or the adults. <laughs> Still in line, eight minutes so far. Not too bad. The lights are making the camera go weird. You can play on that though. Almost there. Getting close to getting on. Which side will we go on? Are we going on the right side or the left side? No. Number, we're number eight. Number eight. Number eight. And we are on the side we've never been in before. Yeah, we've always been left side. Shouldn't get his alien. You're gonna pick your alien, Rich. Here we go. He's in, I'm gonna get a picture. We're on. We're on. The claw is ready. It's already chosen one. <laughs> Are you ready, Luke? I'm ready. Yeah. Sure. We're going to spin. We've got our trusty sure alien. Sure For your safety, please remain fully seated at all times and no lapsing. Thank you. Ready. We're relying on you, alien. Do us proud. Christmas overlay! Eternally dizzy. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> so about 30 minute wait. It wasn't it bad. And it had a little bit of uh, downtime before, so it was going better than that. Yeah. So good. I'm glad we got the festive overlay. Which is hit and miss. It was like every other one was the Christmas overlay. Yeah. So now we have a fast walk to Toy Story Mania. Yes. Okay, the competition starts. It does. And we've Who will win? We've been up. I've had no nap. Who will win? I decide. <laughs> Toy Story Mania and I'm feeling like I'm on a winning streak right now. I'm gonna beat him. I know it. <laughs> I'm gonna beat Luke. It's gonna happen, admit it. Face up to it. Uno. <laughs> we love the Uno cards. Like Disney Uno. The queue line in Toy Story Mania is epic on the carousel, on the uh, ferris wheel. We're on row six. Which but one are we going to get though? The most important question is which character are we going to get in our carriage? I can see an alien one right there. Which one are we going to get? But which one are we going to get? Alien. Oh no! We're going to get Bo Peep. Big Rob It's old. Here we go. I'm going to win. The competition is real. Test round. But we don't want to waste our energy on the test rounds. Conserve your energy. Conserve that energy. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. For now. For now. I'm still winning. I'm still winning. Still winning. I'm still winning. I won. Oh, Luke won. So Luke did it. Look at my accuracy. 
you see 30% that's good for me that is good for you <laughs> Oh, uh, who didn't quite get best in vehicle though? Best is our 400,000. So clearly I've got to eat my words right now. <laughs> I, I did pretty really well for being quite tired. You did, yeah. And I was really trying, genuinely trying. Oh well, next time. Yeah, I know some of you guys will get way better scores. Than that. <laughs> yeah, but we're proud of those scores. <laughs> we're going to head round to Tower of Terror now because we didn't do it on our September trip and it, it feels very left out. Yeah, we've got to go and do Tower of Terror. Let's head round. Time to check in for Tower of Terror. <laughs> yes. Let's get the sign. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. So we are row number two at the front. You ready to board? Inside the elevator at all times, and do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. Time to see our photo. Okay, we're going to scan for our photo. And it's tradition to ring the bells. <laughs> they move them. They free off. Well, we're done. Service. It's been a while since we've been on it. It's been so long. It feels like so long anyway. Yeah, we've um, <laughs> now just heading on Skyliner to go back to Hollywood Street. Um, Caribbean, Caribbean Beach. Beach. Where are we? Line at the moment. Let's see. We're back on the Skyliner. I think this is like our third ride today for Caribbean Beach. We've got the yellow one. Ooh. Ooh. Just like that, a five minute ride and we're back at Caribbean Beach. I yeah, could get used to this. It's like a big station hub, but like when you get into the resort, there's nothing there. Yeah. So convenient getting that skyliner just now. Just like it five minutes. So, quick. so we are heading back to our room. We're going to get our resort mugs and we're going to walk over to the food court. I can't remember the name of the food court. Um, Centre Marketplace. We'll tell you when we get we'll there. We'll tell you when we get there, yeah. But I, I think we're lost in a minute. But, um, yeah, we're going to get food there because it's just quick and easy. Then we're going to get early night ready for tomorrow. Yes. So let's go at the Centre Town Marketplace. We've got our barbecue sauce, the main thing. Resort <laughs> mugs. Resort mugs. Vanilla Diet Coke. I've got a normal diet coke. I'm getting pizza on. Pizza's my favourite. You may have watched Vlogmas, pizza's my favourite food. So Christmas Day, pizza. <laughs> yeah. Here it is in all its glory. Luke's pepperoni pizza with a side salad. And surprise, surprise, I've gone for chicken tenders again. Can't get enough. I'm very happy because the premium bars are back in stock. You have them on. Oh, I'm sure. I like the Glitz Toll House ones. We've set bed now. It's nine o'clock and we are ready for sleep. We're ready, yep. It's been a brilliant day. Uh, we've really enjoyed um, three theme parks. Yep. That's with a like midday nap. Like we came back to the room and had chilled out, nodded off. 
and so that's good going. Yeah, it's been really, really good. So uh, we're going to try and hit Hollywood Studios tomorrow. I'm going in early to try and do Rise of the Resistance. We're going to try. We've yeah. also got a reservation for Topolino's Terrace, which is the new character dining option at Riviera. So I think that's going to take priority. So we're going to try for Rise of the Resistance, but Topolino's I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, um, obviously D Disney have put a spanner in the works because we've obviously made dining reservations and fast passes a lot longer than we knew about the whole Rise of the Resistance situation. So it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. So we had a really good day though. So. Really good day. Um, Thanks to everyone who said hello today. We've bumped into so many lovely Disney friends. Including cast members. That's yeah. so amazing. So nice to meet you guys. So thank you so much. Yes. See you tomorrow for more fun. See you tomorrow.